So the first thing I do, I tell them to get rid of the eighth grade dance, <laughs> kind of bring it in nice and close, perfect. And you want their hips touching. So that looks great. Now both of you guys are gonna lean on the back leg, kind of like we did before. Your front foot is gonna point towards me. Good, and even Brooke, bring your foot in a little bit more. So his stance is much wider than hers is. And by the way, he's a little bit tall, so actually I'm gonna have you spread your legs a little bit more, Tyrese. The more he does that, he'll be a little bit shorter. What you're actually looking for with two people is you want eyes to mouth. So you want her eyes to be at the level of his mouth. So that's pretty good. Um, and you know, making sure that the bride is taller by putting your feet together works too. So do that little bit lean, a little bit more. Now both of you guys open your shoulders towards me. That looks amazing. Brooke, your flowers go right here. Now, little, little thing. So your flowers are here. We can see his hand. Now this is like a no-no. Monty Zucker would just roll over in his grave if I took a picture like this. <laughs> he really would. But, you know, I think if I place it nicely here, it actually is very slimming on her. Um, if I make it so that he really wraps around and like squeezes her tight, it's actually like really cute and endearing. So just be mindful of these things. But if you're going for a traditional photo, hide those fingers, you don't want to see them. All right, so this looks really good. Now I need a reflector. We're gonna pull that in so we can see their, see them nicely here. I'm at 2-2, two, two, so I am gonna change that because you know they're pretty close to the same plane of focus, but I want to give myself a little leeway to make sure both of their sets of eyes are in focus. So now with Brooke, well, both of you guys turn your noses this way a little bit, good. Now tilt your heads together and immediately Tyrese's head is tilted towards the lower shoulder, so he has a masculine head tilt, while Brooke actually also has a masculine head tilt. But if I move her nose this way, you keep moving it. Good, and now look back at me. Now hers is just a little bit more feminine. So little bit details, you wanna make sure that you're still paying attention to that. Because if I didn't do that, go ahead, separate your heads for a second. And Tyrese, just tilt your head a little bit that way. And Brooke, go a little bit this way. Maybe it's like the kind of couple where you know, she has to come to him all the time. Now he's in a feminine head stance while she's in a masculine one. So pay attention to that. All right, so try it the other way, actually. We're going this way a little bit. And technically that's a little bit better because she has a little bit more of a feminine tilt and his is a little bit more masculine. So that's where I would take the photo. You're like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to take a photo already. That looks really good. 